What's up guys, Xavier for iOS Hacker. Today we are going to take a look at how the newly released iPadOS 15 performs on a 4 year old 10.5 inch iPad Pro. This particular iPad Pro model was released back in June 2017 and is powered by Apple's 8NX Fusion chip. To give you a context on how old this iPad Pro is, when this model came out, iOS 10 was the latest available version of iOS while Apple was beta testing the iOS 11 update. We have installed the final release of iPadOS 15.0 on it and we will be testing how well it performs while doing various tasks such as scrolling through the home screen, using app library, web browsing and launching various first and third party apps. We will also be checking out multitasking capabilities of this iPad Pro and how well it runs apps side by side on iPadOS 15. I've been using iPadOS 15 on this iPad Pro since first beta was released back in June. And to my surprise, the 8 and X Fusion chip was able to handle iPadOS 15 quite nicely ever since day one. The performance has only improved and the final version as you can see in this video runs as smoothly as you would expect, even exceeding expectations while performing some tasks. When you're browsing through home screen and app library, there are no glitches or performance issues and everything runs flawlessly. Moving widgets on the home screen also works like a charm. Let's move on to Safari and see how well it performs on the new operating system. Apple has given the Safari browser a redesign in iPadOS 15, adding a bunch of new features along with a new look. I am happy to report that Safari and overall web browsing experience is great on iPadOS 15. The new Safari browser handles multiple tabs without any issues and content loading is fast. Scrolling is also quite responsive and thanks to the 120Hz ProMotion refresh rate of this iPad Pro, everything seems even faster. Accessing the tab switcher screen is fast as well, so is accessing the share sheet button. The new side pane in Safari gives you quick access to multiple options and lets you get to various types of pages in Safari more quickly. Moving on, let's take a look at the multitasking features of iPad and how well they work on iPadOS 15. The split view feature of iPad works great on iPadOS 15, no matter which app you throw at it. As you can see, this 4 year old 10.5 inch iPad Pro does not have any trouble running multimedia heavy apps side by side. By the way guys, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Next, we are going to open various apps and see how well they perform on iPadOS 15. These apps include settings, various stock apps and third party applications. Loading apps like Calendar and opening its various pages feels very smooth and responsive. Although I barely use the camera app on my iPad, it is good to know that iPadOS 15 runs the camera app quite smoothly and there are no performance issues whatsoever. It is not only impressive that iPadOS 15 runs so smoothly on this 4 years old iPad Pro, but it is also impressive that Apple has given so many of iPadOS 15's new features to this 4 years old tablet. However, one feature that is noticeably missing is the live text feature that allows users to select text from images. It is sad to know that Apple has not given that amazing feature to this tablet. However, there are plenty of iPadOS 15 features that should compel you to upgrade. As you can see, the App Store application works quite smoothly and does not have any performance issues whatsoever, despite being such a multimedia heavy app. As you can see, scrolling on the App Store is quite smooth and taking advantage of the ProMotion display, we can see that scrolling through apps and lists of apps is quite smooth and without any lag. iPadOS 15 also brings the quick note feature that allows users to take quick notes using the keyboard or their Apple Pencil. As you can see, the quick note feature works without any issues and performs as intended. In fact, this has been a trend with all of iPadOS 15's new features on this 10.5 inch iPad Pro. Despite being from 2017, it runs 2021's new iPadOS like any other tablet on Apple's current iPad lineup. 
credit for which must be given to Apple's software team. If you are an Apple Pencil user, then you would be happy to know that using the first generation Apple Pencil on the 10.5 inch iPad Pro running iPadOS 15 is as good as it has ever been. The scribbling, scrolling and writing with Apple Pencil is buttery smooth. So there you go folks, this was our look at iPadOS 15 running on 10.5 inch iPad Pro from 2017. If you have this very iPad and if you are wondering if you should upgrade to iPadOS 15 or not and are concerned about performance issues then don't be. As you have seen in this video, the iPadOS 15 runs very smoothly on iPad Pro 10.5 inch and we recommend any iPad user who has an older iPad model to install iPadOS 15 on their devices as it has no problem running on this hardware. What do you think about iPadOS 15 and are you going to install it on your older iPad? Let us know in the comment section below. This was Zay for iOS Hacker and I will catch you in our next video.